I'm really fine. Thank you very much. Tell me what brings you down here today. Well, most people know me as a John Paul and John Paul Mitchell Systems for Paul Mitchell Salon Hair Care Products. But I have a company called John Paul Pet that friends of mine asked me to please put together here so that, you know, we could do things for pets that are made by pets. Pets help pick out our scents and pets help pick out our actual product that is being used. So I'm here today to work with Mr. Uh, Dick Van Patten to cut the ribbon and let everybody into the show and tell people why John Paul Pet's a little different and to be here for the Oscars and let everybody know, yes, if you have an animal, here's a John Paul Pet. That's good thinking. I want to back up for a second. You said the pets pick the scents. Tell me about that. Yes, when we wanted to develop a product, we thought let's make it exclusively for our animal friends. So let's take oatmeal shampoos. We had eight different scents we could use. I would bring the scent home, put it in eight different bowls, and then my golden retriever would go up there and sniff. And animals are very honest. They don't like somebody pull back until I found three that he liked that he would go back to a second time. I brought in his buddies, Luke down the street, Alvin. I brought his friends in to do the same sniffing. When we finally got collectively what three they liked the best, and we did the same with cats, by the way. Then I went to my partner, John Capper, said, John, here's what the animals like. Now you pick out, out of these ones the animal liked, out of these three, which one the human likes the best. But it's got to be one of these three. And that's how he did it. And then uh, my dog, many times, coming back from a groomer, would itch and scratch. And we couldn't figure that one out that we finally did. And that was the pH of a dog's skin and hair. They're a little more drier than we are, so they have a little higher pH. They have a pH of 7. So we developed the whole product line to have a pH of 7, a dog's pH, not a human pH. A human's quite a bit lower. So would that mean, I've heard in the past that, you know, you shouldn't bathe your dog too often because it dries out the coat. So having a pH factor adjusted the way you were just mentioning, would that allow you to be a little bit more free with bathing your dog? You could be a lot freer bathing your dog because you're doing it with a shampoo or conditioner that's been adjusted to that dog's pH. Very, very different. Very different. That's that's brilliant. So also if the dog's been swimming in salt water, which would tend to dry the coat out and dry the skin out, same thing would apply, right? Putting the shampoo on would actually be almost therapeutic? But that is correct. And also what's really good too is a lot of animals go through unnecessary, shall we say, injury and disease. We developed wipes. Here's some of our wipes over here, for example. And these wipes we developed are for ears, to clean the dog's ears. And it has a special uh, substance on there to help block out disease and clear out bacteria. You know, most animals have real ear problems. This helps eliminate that. Same with the eyes. We get the little goop there in the eyes, wipes it out, and brushing the animal's teeth. You get a little wipe, you go like that, it takes care of his gums, his teeth at the same time. These are three different wipes that you've got going? Yes, sir, we do. I have a standard poodle, so I know all about the ears. You've constantly got to get in there, but it's generally true for all floppy ear dogs in general, right? They have more ear problems than, say, a, a spitz type or something like that? That is so true, because it's all in there, the bacteria grows. In fact, what I'd love for you to do before you leave the show, let's make sure you have one each of the wipes take home and try on your food. Look oh, it. she'll love it. She'll like to be spoiled. She's oh, 13 and a half. Uh, you can really <laughs> spoil her now, especially 13. She's a grand dam. Yeah, all right. And going strong. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. You betcha, sir.